against the upright, and as you can see, there's interference there. Or maybe you just want to change the routing of the cables for aesthetic purposes. Well, the thing to do is to remove the four millimeter bolts with a four, four, four millimeter Allen key or bit. Um, I like to use this rounded one just so I can get a better angle on it. Try not to break it. You break them off in two. Um, once you remove those, you can simply pop out the motor. It does have a spider coupling in there, which is something like that. All you have to do is just make sure that when you move the motor around, you can rotate the spider coupling so it matches the, the coupling inside. Pop it back in. You can see it's rotated. Put the bolts back in and just very, just a snug fit. They don't have to be tight at all. Most of the forces are um, constrained just by, by the circle and the precise fitment that we have with the Technic motor. So you can mount it like so, or if you can spin it in place, you can also spin it